Next, we will look at how to replace and position components that can be downloaded from the RS library. We are going to demonstrate how to replace components in Design Spot Mechanical. So here we have our IDF circuit board. I am now going to replace this circuit board by right clicking on the IDF in the structure tree and selecting source and then replace component. I'm then going to go to revision 2 in my folder and select IDF2. This will only appear if the appropriate file format such as the ECAD file is selected. So when I click open my circuit board is replaced with a different one and that's how simple it is to replace components. So what we are also going to do is show you how to replace components within the circuit board. For example if I open up on the structure tree the circuit board itself I can go to individual components and select them individually and edit them or replace them. An example is this one. I'd like to replace it with one in another library. This can be from um, RS itself. RS have a vast array of different libraries available where you can find components. And the component we need today so I'll find my replacement component, which is a USB, within the IDF ECAD library. This is component 14388. Select that and open. As you can see, our block has been replaced with a USB port. This currently is not in the correct position, so we can use the Move tool, which is highlighted, to drag this item into position using the different axes. As you can see, we can position this accordingly. I'm going to have to move my PCB slightly using the move tool as well. And then again, move the USB just to line it up with the pins. As you can see, there is plastic here, which is cover, which would be covering the port. So there is actually a way of cutting around this port. So you have the metal through the middle from the USB port, but there is plastic here. So what we can do is use the combine tool in the intersect menu. We can click combine and then on the item itself, which will turn it green. Then your cursor will turn to a cutter. And then we can select the USB port. Is this the item we'd like to cut? And then a rubber appears on your cursor. Once you click the green inside the USB, this will actually rub out the excess plastic that would be printed and leave your port exposed. So this is how you can actually cut out items to reveal a component behind your wall of your enclosure. Sometimes when making designs, you have walls that are extruding your view of a component. So for instance here, we can't see the USB port properly in order to position it in the pin holes. So what we can do is actually use the section tool under mode toolbar. And what we can do is actually select a face and it hides the wall that is obstructing, obstructing your view of the object. And this is really handy for positioning items. So you simply click the part you'd like to see first once the section tool is selected and then it will hide the walls for you.